you've just finished your animation and you're trying to render with motion blur and you can't figure out why it doesn't have motion blur in Redshift. There's a little checkbox you need to know about. Let's take a look. So this is a scene I recently animated and I wanted to have motion blur on Homer falling off of this couch that was in this mural. You can watch that video and an explanation more about how I did this in the link in the description and this card. But in this motion, there's a lot going on and I wanted to have uh, motion blur here. So when I turned it on from the render settings, it actually didn't come through. And so I struggled with this for a little while. If you go into the Redshift render settings and you turn on motion blur, we can see what we get here. <clears throat> when the character is moving very quickly, we can see that there actually isn't any motion blur here. And in fact, the eyeballs are somehow out of the character's head and maybe the teeth are coming through as motion blur, but his whole body isn't. And so there's one setting you need to know about, and that is the deformation blur. So you have to turn this on under basic, under motion blur, deformation blur. That refers to because we have a skinned character and there's deformations happening on the geometry and they're deforming because of the character skeleton and the rig underneath, you have to have deformation blur on to actually see the character have the blur, motion blur applied to the render. So this is a huge difference from what we just saw. And that is how you apply motion blur to your Redshift renders. If you wanna learn more from me, please like, comment, subscribe. And I have my other courses on animatorsjourney.com and digitalcreatorschool.com as well as Skillshare. So check them out at any one of those places. Thanks for watching.